So you're beginning to understand synthesis here. It's at its basis, it takes a number of modulators, like say envelope generators, that can control a destination parameter and kind of automate that parameter over time. In this case, we saw the modulation envelope control a number of different things, a number of different parameters within our synth. Now there's another modulator that's common to many synths and it's called an LFO or low frequency oscillator. Now the oscillators that we've seen up until now, number one and number two, generate waveforms in that they oscillate thousands of times a second to give us a tone that we actually hear as sound. If an oscillator vibrates at a much lower frequency, just a few times a second, then we can't hear it, but its usefulness comes from modulating something in a wave-like fashion. Envelopes modulate some parameters over time LFOs modulate it in a wave-like fashion. Take the Bee Gees, for example. <laughs> There's a segue, right? The Brothers Gibbs seem to be born with an LFO set to modulate their singing volume. You hear it all the time. <laughs> right? That's modulating the amplitude of the sound. The ambulance driving down the street has an LFO set to pitch. Ooh, let's look at LFOs. Subtractor has two LFOs, creatively named LFO1 and LFO2. Now, just like the mod envelope over here, where we had that bunch of destination parameters that can be modulated by this envelope, we can do the same thing with my LFO1 across here. We can send this modulation, this wave-like cycle, to any of these destinations. Now, if I was to just play a note here, and we have this set to oscillator 1 and 2, ramp up this amount, you can hear that we are modulating the pitch of oscillators one and two, and we can speed that up or slow that down. Now, if it's down at this rate, you'd probably be able to hear the differences between these waveforms. Check it out. It ramps up and then just drops, ramps up and drops. This one stays there, goes down, jumps up, goes down, jumps up, goes down. Have a square wave that gives basically two different that's right two different values or a couple of other uh, waveforms here which are more kind of random waveforms this is a typical one you tend to see most often so like i said you can change the rate and the amount and you can send it to any one of these parameters we could set it to uh, say filter frequency so that's exactly the same if we were to sit here and just go, wow, wow, wow. But I don't want to sit around and do that all day, right? Do you? <laughs> so instead of doing that, we could just pull that down, give it a big amount. And then I can't do this much faster than this, but I can over here. So you get the idea of an LFO, it modulates some sort of parameter in a wave-like fashion and the waveform is decided right across here and you can set to a, um, uh, a particular rate and also how much you want to do that. I'm just exaggerating this by putting it the full amount. You may not want to put it to the full amount. You may want it to be a little bit more subtle. Now the second LFO of here, over here is actually set to a sawtooth. You can't change the, the type of waveform here, but it has an interesting twist. The first LFO is monophonic, meaning the same cycle will play across all the notes that you play in time. That modulation that it produces will be completely in sync. Now, the second LFO is polyphonic, meaning that it will cycle from each note you hit. So if you hit a rolling chord, then each note will have its own LFO sweeping at the time that you hit it. All that to say, LFO can give you much richer results. We could ramp up the amount, and in this case, let's make it modulate the amplifier, so we'll have a tremolo effect. Hear how the volume of that is being cycled in a wave-like fashion right here? You can, of course, adjust the rate. 